Hey students, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use some skills in Scratch to tell a story. Let me play my animation for you so you can see what I have done. Hello. Hello. Let's go on an adventure. Yikes. This place is scary. Let's get out of here. Okay, that was a really short animation. Uh, and uh, the purpose of the animation is really to teach you a few basic skills. I want to teach you how to have multiple scenes um, or backdrops in a scratch animation, how to control the changing of those scenes, how to create dialogue between your characters, how to use a button. So let's take a look at the requirements for this assignment. Here we see on our class Moodle what the requirements are. This animation must contain three backdrops or scenes, title, scene one, and scene two. This animation must contain two sprites or characters that interact. They will interact by uh, through their dialogue or talking to one another. The animation must use a button to switch from scene one to scene two. Uh, you also need to use the text to speech block, which I'll show you how to add that to Scratch. And you will use that to create dialogue between your sprites. You also need to use the say blocks to create dialogue. And then the animation must begin on the title screen and end on scene two. So let's get started and make this animation in Scratch. From the Scratch homepage, go ahead and click the Create button. This will create a blank new project. This particular animation is going to have three scenes. So in the stage area on the far right, lower, lower right corner, click on the Choose a Backdrop button. I'm going to go ahead and choose the forest scene for scene one and the woods scene for scene two. However, I also need a title screen. I'm going to click here and just choose a scene like this, a simple graphic for the title scene. Now we need to go into the backdrops tab for the stage and you will find I actually have four scenes now. Select the first one and delete it. Take the third scene, the title scene, and drag it to the top. Let's take this first scene, which is called Light, select it, and rename it Title. We can see that the names of the scenes or backdrops are up here in the costume name area. What we're going to do is put some text on each of these scenes so that they're easily identifiable in our animation. I'm going to do that now. Okay, you can see I now have three scenes with text on each one. It would be nice if you even changed the font and the color of the font in each scene. Now we need to code the backdrops. So we're going to, with the stage selected, go to the code area for the scenes and do the following. Wind green flag clicked, under looks, switch backdrop to the title. This will cause the animation to begin on the title screen, which we want. Under control, select wait two seconds, giving people an opportunity to read your title, and then switch to our second scene, which is the forest. In addition to having three scenes, our animation also needs to have two characters. We already have the cat, but we need to have another character that can interact with the cat. So let's click on choose a sprite. I'm going to use the penguin as my other character. It's always a good idea to rename your sprites. So let's call the cat sprite cat. Now when the animation begins, we do not want to see the cat or the penguin. So we need to add some code that will make these sprites hide. Select the cat, go to events, when green flag clicked, under looks, find hide. Now we see when the green flag is clicked, the cat disappears. Do the same for the penguin. Select the penguin. Now when you test the animation, both sprites 
will disappear. So far we have added code so that when the animation begins, the backdrop automatically switches after two seconds. Let's go over to the cat now, and we want to add some code that will make the cat talk. First we need to add an event when, back, when backdrop switches to forest, which is the first regular scene after the title screen, we want to make the cat appear. Under Looks, select Show. Now we're going to use the Text to Speech feature. However, we need to add it into Scratch. Down here is the Add Extension button. Click on it, find the Text to Speech option, and when you add it, you will now see a new set of blocks at the bottom of your toolbar called Text-to-Speech. The first thing we want to do is set the voice for our character. There are five different voices to choose from. I'm going to use Alto for the cat. Now we want the cat to say hello. And then we'll wait two seconds. Since this is a conversation between our two sprites, let's go to the penguin. Let's do the same thing. For the penguin, I'm going to use the giant voice. The penguin is going to say, hello, let's go on an adventure. You can make your sprite say whatever you want. Okay, let's test our animation to see what we have. We can go full screen by clicking this button Click the green flag. Hello. Hello, let's go on an adventure. All right, that's great. Our, our title screen switches to our scene one automatically, and then, then our characters speak. But now we want to proceed from scene one to scene two by clicking on a button. Let's do that next. Let's go back to the cat sprite, and we need to add another block of code. Under the looks palette, Let's pull out the say for three seconds. The cat will say, click the button for three seconds. Now we need to create a button. Go to our Sprite button, click, search for buttons. We see there are several styles. I'm going to choose the second one. The button appears on the screen. Pull it to the lower left corner. We need to put some text on it, so let's go to its costume. Choose the text button and type in the middle, next scene. That looks good. Now we need to code the button. With the button selected, let's choose when green flag clicked and hide. This will cause the button to disappear until we're ready to use it. Add the following code to the button. Now we want to use the when this sprite is clicked event. We want to switch to the second scene. When we get to the last scene, we want that button to hide. Okay, let's test our animation again. Go full screen, click the green flag. It will wait and then go to the next Hello. scene. Hello, our characters Hello. talk and we're prompted to click the button. Click Next Scene, which should, should bring us to Scene 2. There you go. We're getting close to being done. Now we want to add the dialogue between the cat and the penguin in the last scene, and then have them leave the scene to finish the animation. Select the cat. Add a block for when backdrop switches to the third scene. We want the cat to speak again. Something like, yikes, this place is scary. Now I'm going to have the cat move. So I'm going to use a repeat block. First set the rotation style to left, right. Use a repeat 10 times. Move in a positive direction. Wait a half a second. And move the same distance in a negative direction. I think I'm going to make that wait a little shorter. There you go, that looks good. Now let's do something similar with the penguin.
The penguin says, let's get out of here. Point him in the right direction. 90 means to the right. And we want him to glide off screen to about here. If you move your character to a spot on the screen, then you can see the X and Y values. He's at about 215 and negative 70. However, if we move a character to a spot like that at the end of the animation, we need to make sure that he's in his original position here at the beginning of the animation. So move him back, find the values, we'll say 72 and negative 10, and make sure you move him there when the animation begins. So when green flag clicked, go to 72, negative 10. That should do it. Let's test this entire animation. Hello. Hello, let's go on an adventure. Our characters speak, then we're prompted to click the button. When we do, we go to scene two. Yikes, this place is scary. Let's get out of here. There's more dialogue, and the animation comes to a close. Okay, I hope this has given you the skills you need to make your own story animation in Scratch. Thanks for watching. See you next time.